Hey everyone, exciting news from the Linux world today. Linus Torvalds has just announced the first release candidate of Linux kernel 6.12, and there's a ton of new features to dive into. So if you're a Linux enthusiast or just curious about what's next for the kernel, stick around as we break down what's coming in. Linux 6.12 and when you can expect the final release. All right, so let's start with the basics. It's been two weeks since the merge window for Linux kernel, 6.12 opened, right after the release of Linux kernel 6.11. Now we've got the first release candidate available for public testing. That means it's time for developers and curious users to test out some of the cool features we'll be seeing in the final release. One of the major highlights of Linux 6.12 is the introduction of real-time preempt RT support. This has been a long-requested feature, especially for systems that require super low latency operations. There's also a new scheduler called Shed Ext, which should improve how tasks are managed. For all the Clang users out there, 6.12 brings Clang support for NolaBC, including LTO link time optimization. This means more efficient builds and better performance, especially for embedded systems. Plus, there's enhanced support for tools like CPUtil, giving you better insights into power management and idle state behavior. Another standout is the NVIDIA Virtual Command Queue implementation for SMMU v3. This is a big win for performance, particularly for those using NVIDIA hardware on Linux. If you're working with embedded systems or ARM-based devices, you'll also be excited to know there's ACPI-based enumeration of interrupt controllers on RISC-V and Lungarch KVM guest PMU support. Now, let's talk about hardware. Linux 6.12 expands hardware support with things like Granite Rapids, Xeon processors, Intel Aero Lake U chips, and Sierra Forest chips. There's even hybrid CPU capacity scaling support in the Intel State Driver. This kernel also adds drivers for new devices like Realtek Automotive PCIe, Rockchip CAN FD controllers, and MediaTek MTK7981. Oh, and for those using Surface devices, there's better ARM64 based Surface device support, plus new features for Dell and Asus laptops, like fan control and battery charge settings. The Wacom driver has also gotten some love with support for new hardware features, like high res scrolling and touch rings. But that's not all. Linux kernel 6.12 brings a ton of updates to file systems like ext4, btufs xfat, and more. There's also better networking with features like device memory TCP support and IPv6 IOAM6 support, which should make network operations smoother and more efficient. Linux's journey with Rust continues, with more updates and refinements in this release. As the integration of Rust into the kernel progresses, we're seeing better safety and performance, with a lot more to come. As for when we can expect the final release of Linux 6.12, well, it's looking like mid to late November depending on how many more release candidates Torvalds decides to roll out. If everything goes smoothly, we could see the final version by November 17th. But if there's more testing required, it might be closer to November 24th. So if you want to get your hands on the first release candidate of Linux, 6.12, you can download it now from Linus Torvalds Gitree. Be sure to test it out, especially if you're a developer, and report any bugs you encounter. That's all for this update. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest in Linux and open source software. What feature are you most excited about in Linux 6.12? Let me know in the comments below. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep your system updated and happy Linuxing.